All right, welcome to Stargazer, where we gaze to the stars and look at the latest of science fiction and how it relates to our small little planet Earth here. Now, today, I talked about Twilight Zone for my Stargazer segment. I had some fun, but we, we, we can't stop there. We got a new Star Wars Episode Nine teaser trailer. Oh my goodness, I, I don't need the Star Trek hat anymore. Okay, I'm talking about Star Wars. Star Wars, people. Get that Star Trek out of my sight. Okay. So we have Force Awakens back in 2015. Now, people will claim that it didn't do much for the franchise. It played, it played it by the books. It was pretty much a retread of Episode 4. And you know what? They're completely right. But you know what? It was a lot of fun. It gave us a great introduction to some great characters like Poe, Rey, and Finn while also giving us that Star Wars goodness that we love so much. Then, two years later, we got Last Jedi, which pretty much, it defecated all over that, all over it. People liked its ambition, but most other people were just very turned off by it for being so different, for playing with their expectations, bringing it in half, throwing in the garbage, incinerating that garbage, and telling us to eat that incinerated garbage. It's an awful experience for Star Wars fans, and they were very done with the franchise, even when Solo, a Star Wars story, came out. People just didn't really care much about it. Now, J.J. Abrams, the director of Force Awakens, came back and resurrected this franchise from the grave by giving us this teaser trailer. It starts out with Rey, with a lightsaber, because we didn't get much of that in uh, Last Jedi. And a pod, a TIE fighter, is coming right at her. And she does a flip. If that wasn't cool enough, if you weren't into it, you got that Princess Leia theme playing. And you got all your favorites there, including Lando. Lando is back. The original actor of Lando came back for this movie. You see that. You see all these fantastic exciting worlds that we love and see in Star Wars because that was so great about Star Wars uh, in the very beginning. It's a vision of different aliens and races and planets and we got that in this trailer. And we got the great music, Carrie Fisher is there. I'm, I believe they filmed some scenes from Last Jedi before her passing and they're just gonna include that for her. I can't imagine they're gonna CGI and pose her face like they did in Rogue One, which would have been terribly awkward and distasteful. And we have Luke Skywalker, his voice playing over the trailer, because although, spoilers for Last Jedi, he did die at the end. Like other Jedi, like Yoda and Obi-Wan before him, they transcend to become Force Ghosts. So that's what he's gonna be in the, tra in the uh, movie. And he's speaking, and he says this, the very last line of the trailer, no one, ever dies. Okay, so that means that, oh, Luke's coming back, or maybe we'll have some fan favorites returning, and then you hear this. <laughs> no, that's not uh, an impersonation of me being a 50-something-year-old uh, smoker. No, I'm doing a voice of Emperor Palpatine. Yes, the Emperor from the original Star Wars trilogy. He is confirmed to be back for episode nine. How will this play out? Will it be a major role? Will he just be a vision? We don't know, but they really teased his epic triumphant return. So for Star Wars fans, that's just amazing. But then you have those jaded Star Wars fans that are just like, you know what? It's just, it's, it's just not doing anything for the franchise. It's just taking old material and it's just throwing it at us like this. But get this people. We had Last Jedi, and it disappointed a lot of fans. So J.J. Abrams is making this to please people back and bring them back into the franchise. So while I agree that Star Wars is an endless universe, galaxies and galaxies of material that you could work with for the marketing purposes, for offering that Disney magic, you probably need this. You probably need to have someone like Lando come back and have the fallen Death Star and Emperor Palpatine. You may need that, but what we may get is a very solid movie, and we can only hope for that, especially after Last Jedi. Okay, I've been Brandon Ellis, and that was the latest Stargazer.